Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Aditya Aurangi and in this video we're going to learn about descriptive statistics in data frame or aggregate functions in data frame. So what are aggregate functions? So aggregate function is any function which can give us one result output for a set of values. So let's say maximum function. So what will it do from a set of data? It will give us maximum value, same as minimum. It will give us the minimum value mean function will give us the average and median will give us the middle value similarly standard deviation variation variance all these function we will see now okay so let's start so first import the pandas as p then i have a dictionary data inside a dictionary in which we have one key as name and the values are ABCD. <clears throat> next key as age and values 10, 11, 12, 13. And next key as marks and the marks. And I'm using this dictionary as data for my data frame. So enter. Now let's see how our data frame looks DF. So DF looks like this. So <clears throat> the keys are taken as column names and the values are taken as columns. Okay. So how we, how we can apply these aggregate function on data frame. <clears throat> so we write DF dot and the name of function, which is let's start with max. Okay. If I do only this, let's see what it gives. So I have three columns. And for each column, it gave me maximum value. So age 14 is the maximum marks. 99 is the maximum marks name ABCD. So D is bigger. Okay. So let's say I want values, uh, for a particular column only I want value. So how can I do that? So how can I select a particular column First, select a particular column? So DF then in square brackets. Let's say I want uh, the student with maximum age, so or minimum age, like the youngest student. Okay, so age is my one column name. I write that inside square brackets and then dot, then my function minimum. No, I want to find minimum. So if I do that, I get 10. So age minimum is 10. What are the maximum marks or average marks? Okay. So only average mark, nothing else I want to see. <clears throat> so for average or mean, we have this function MEAN and the column we will need to select is marks. So if I do enter 93.5. So if we find average of this, we will get this. Okay. 93.5. Now see this was max function. So it gave us column wise uh, maximum values. What if we want row wise maximum values? How can we do that? So you have seen property, which is axis. So it has zero or one zero correspond to vertical and which is the default value. So vertical means column wise and <clears throat> one refers to horizontal. So row wise. So if I give property inside of it, axis equal to let's say zero, I get the same answer column wise. I, I'm finding maximum value. So if I do one, I'll get row wise maximum value. So my data frame is not this. My data frame is DF. So in first row with index zero, what do I have for zero? I have 91. Okay. So out of 10, 91 and A, it is giving me maximum value as uh, 91. <coughs> because I think it is converting a into numeric. So for a it is, or maybe it is discarding a. So when you have different data type, it tends to discard the ones which it cannot understand. So 10 91. So it gave me this. Let's uh, find, let me update 10 to something first. Okay. Age. Let me try something. DF. How can I access this? Uh, df dot iloc okay so iloc if i give zero index 
comma zero. So it will give me ten. Okay, if I want to update this, equal to if I do ninety nine. So if I see this, it is ninety nine. Now let me find the <clears throat> maximum, which is ninety nine, and let's find minimum, which is ninety one. Okay, so I think A is ninety six something. I just wanted to see whether it is considering considering this or not. Let me update uh, this instead of let me do it ninety one only. Okay. So now let's find minimum. So ninety one maximum. It is giving my ninety one only. So I think it is discarding the character value which is A B C D. so i hope you know, you got how we can find it row wise and column wise same thing mean average okay so df dot mean if i give this it will find column wise average value <clears throat> so for age it can find we can find for marks we can find but for uh, character values we cannot so it skipped it okay so Same thing. I can give inside axis equal to if I give one, it will find row wise. So ninety one only because it is considering only ninety one and ninety one. So age is I updated the age to ninety one here. So ninety one ninety one is giving me that only. And for eleven and ninety five, it is giving me fifty three. Let's calculate. Then we will be sure it is skipping B or not. So ninety five plus eleven, which is hundred and six. Hundred and six half fifty three. So it is excluding or discarding the character value when it is finding. When it finds an inappropriate value, it discards it. Okay. <coughs> Same way we can find um, axis. Let's keep it zero. Only column wise we find that way. It is logical. So median. So median for age is thirteen point five. So median is the average of Bit, so middle two values, and for marks it is ninety three. So I think ninety five and eighty nine. Okay, average of those. Uh, is it ninety three is average of these two? So three is the difference. If I add three eighty two or subtract three eighty two. I think it uh, <clears throat> arranges it in. So what I said was wrong. It arranges it in ascending order, and then finds the average of middle two for even number of elements. For odd number of elements, it will give us the middle one after arranging it in ascending order. So first comes the eighty nine. So eighty nine, then ninety one, then ninety five, then ninety nine. So ninety one plus ninety five. So one plus five six divided by two three so ninety three. Same way here eleven thirteen fourteen then ninety one. So thirteen and fourteen average of those that is thirteen point five. So median is that after ascending arranging it in ascending order, we are finding the average of middle value middle two values for even number and the direct middle value if odd numbers are there odd number of elements are there. Okay, so median we are done. We can even find mode m. Mode means the value which occurs the most of the time. Okay, so it gave completely complete data frame itself. Let's try to find df of age. So it gave complete. I think it gives something as mathemat mathematics. It is the highest occurring number. So one, two, two, three, four. So two is occurring two times. So we get two. So it is giving all the elements. Maybe because each one is occurring once. So all the elements are occurring for the maximum number of time, which is one. Maybe. Let me update it. So df dot iloc 
ओके सो लेट मी डू जीरो सो जीरो थ्रो कॉमा जीरो सो नाइंटी वन लेट मी अपडेटेड टू वी हैव एज इलेवन नो सो इलेवन सो नाउ इफ आई सी डी एफ इलेवन इलेवन कमिंग इट्स कमिंग टू टाइम्स सो नाउ लेट्स फाइंड सो वी गेट इलेवन सो द हाइएस्ट अकरिंग नंबर इज इलेवन विच इज कमिंग टू ट्वाइस अर्लियर ऑल वर कमिंग वंस एंड ऑल एवरी थिंग वॉज अकरिंग फॉर द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ टाइम विच इज वन दैट्स वाई वी गॉट ऑल द डेटा फ्रेम लाइक ऑल द वैल्यूज वर यूनिक सो दैट्स वाई मोड सेम वे वी कैन फाइंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन एस टी डी ओके सो इट ऑल्सो फाउंड कॉलम वाइज so default is column wise x is equal to 0 so age 1.5 marks 4.4 standard deviation so it has a formula mathematics formula you can calculate it if you want using these value okay but it's going to be this only so same way we can find variance also same way you can do for particular column you can find particular row you can find column wise you can find row wise you can find we have seen everything and there are different functions so that's how you can apply every everything all the aggregate function descriptive statistics okay so let's do marks dot <coughs> variance so variance is 19.6 it's some value which we don't know how it came so it use some predefined function where uh, you can calculate it if you want so that's how we do it and there is one more thing left uh, quantile so what quantile is i'll make a new video for it and explain it in depth okay so go through this one more time if you have doubt how we can apply row wise column wise for particular column particular row how can we select particular row so we can do this dot loc so loc so we will we have to give the index and column values proper okay those values only iloc we give integer <coughs> we give integer values so uh, integer Uh, respective integer values <clears throat> so how do i select zero if i do so i got first row so age is 11 marks 99 name is a so if you want to find row wise you can do like this dot max so i think string str so string value is coming so you can use do that function only like this df dot max if you want to find row wise give access equal to 1 okay <clears throat> you can use it i thought it might give so there are multiple ways lot of ways of doing same thing so i was just trying so i hope you got it uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one